Hello everyone. This video will explain the process of using RPA to everyone. Mainly divided into the following five points. 1. What is RPA and how to use it? 2. What is workflow and how to design workflows? 3. Task scheduling. 4. Concurrency control. 5. Considerations. What is RPA? Robotic Process Automation, RPA, abbreviated as RPA, is a technology for business process automation based on software robots and artificial intelligence, AI. Bitbrowser utilizes a browser-based RPA tool, which can be employed to create automated workflows for browser operations, reducing repetitive tasks and enhancing efficiency. The RPA design tool employed is the Chrome extension Automa, available at https colon slash slash www.automa.site. The advantage of this extension lies in its low-code, or even no-code approach, allowing for the design of workflows through a drag-and-drop block system. It is feature-rich, convenient, and user-friendly. In the menu on the left side of Bitbrowser, you can view the RPA management module. The task list contains our PA tasks that have already been created before. Workflow Dashboard New Task What is workflow and how to design workflows? A workflow is an ordered collection of functionalities that, following a predefined sequence, executes user-defined operational behaviors. For example, when we need to search for a keyword, first, you need to open the browser. Continue to input keywords. Finally, press enter or click the search button. At this point, you can go to the search results page to view the search results. RPA breaks down these steps and connects them at each step. Automate the execution of such processes within the set browser window. Let's take a look at the process design in Bitbrowser. Workflow dashboard. After clicking, you can enter the RPA tutorial page and the console page of the workflow. What is displayed here is the previously created workflow. New Workflow Enter the name of the workflow Click Add to complete the creation This is a newly created workflow Taking this workflow as an example, let's give a specific introduction to it Click on the name of the workflow to enter the design interface of the workflow It can be seen that the design interface is connected by functional modules one by one The arrow refers to its flow direction It will start with a trigger Create a new tab. This is a form. You can enter a keyword here. After completing the input, click on the element. Set a delay time of 5 seconds here. Delay by 5 seconds to close the current tab. You can set an additional delay time of 5 seconds here. Delay for another 5 seconds to close browser. This is a complete workflow. Click the button here to see the actual effect when running it. Open the browser and automatically input preset keywords. Automatically search for keywords and display search result pages. Wait for 5 seconds and it will close the current tab. Waiting for another 5 seconds will close all profiles. This is a complete process. A workflow starts with a trigger. Automa will assemble all the functional modules one by one. This functional module only needs to be dragged onto the canvas, then connect them with some wires. Let's first delete this for it. Automa divides all modules into six categories. For example, in general, trigger, delay, HTTP request. There are also some other things. Some are browser related. Active tab, switch tab, new tab. There are also some other things. Next, it's web interaction. Click element. Scroll element. Attribute value. There are also some other things. Next, control flow. Repeat task. Element exists. Loop data. Online services. Google Sheets. Google Drive. Data. Insert data. Get log data. Increase variable. There are also some other things. Divided into the six major categories mentioned above. Let's take a closer look at the workflow of this Google search. First, add a trigger here. Start creating a new tab. 
This tab is equivalent to opening a Google page and entering the Google URL. Then open the tab and set it as the active page. On this form page, double click to open it. You can see all the specific information within this functional module. Here, we use a CSS selector and select the input box for Google search. You can also choose path. The form type can be selected as a text field. Enter the set keywords here. Click on the element, double click it again, it will still be a CSS selector. The Google search button has been selected here. After clicking the button, it will jump to the results page of Google search. An additional waiting delay of 5 seconds has been added here. After waiting for 5 seconds, close the current tab. Close the current tab, there are two types. One is tab, and the other is window. Check this activity tab. Just close the tab currently being searched for. Add another 5 seconds delay here. It is to make the effect more obvious. The last step is very important. It closes all window. Because all Automa automated workflows, all executed in the browser, it is executed through extension. In order to ensure the normal execution and completion of the workflow, it must be done by the workflow itself to close this profiles. If it is controlled by the client to close the window, there may be a situation where the workflow is not yet completed when the window is closed, or the workflow may take a long time to execute, which is not the state we want. After the process design is completed, you can click this execution button. Verify if the workflow we designed is correct. There is one thing to pay attention to here. When there is an error in the workflow, choose to stop the workflow, continue running, or restart the workflow. You can make your own judgment based on actual needs. Return to the interface of this workflow. Let me explain the mining of this keyword again. Firstly, two key points need to be provided. Here we first randomly input two keywords. After entering two keywords, click on it to start running on this page. We'll traverse the list based on the two input keywords. After the input is completed, the data will be saved to the CSV file. You can see the results of the analysis of the two keywords just now in the download file. There is another key point that needs special attention here. Click on the three points here. In the pop-up drop-down box, there is a copy workflow ID. This refers to each workflow having a unique ID. When executing in the browser, you need to first find the workflow through this ID. Next, let's explain task scheduling. Task scheduling refers to the execution of tasks and workflows that we have designed. There are mainly three types. Immediate execution task, scheduled task, recurring task. Now let's create three types of tasks separately. New task. To create a task, we first need to preset some execution conditions. Now let's establish an immediate task to execute. Custom filling of task name. Note that each task should correspond to a workflow ID. Don't input any other irrelevant content here. Otherwise, it will not correspond to a real existing workflow. Binding profiles refers to the profiles that is bound to execute the workflow. After selecting the profiles, click the Confirm button. Choose immediately here. It means that after clicking Confirm and completing the task creation, we will immediately run this workflow. Profiles is opening. When performing a Google search, enter the set keywords. Search result page. After waiting for 5 seconds, the profiles will automatically close. After waiting for another 5 seconds, the entire browser will automatically close. At this point, an immediate task is completed. Completed task, status changes to executed. Next, we will create another scheduled task. Custom filling of task name. Here we choose a scheduled task for the type. I will customize the name here. Each task should correspond to a workflow ID. Click here to bind the profiles. After selecting the profiles, click the confirm button. Set the start time here. The current time is 4.46 p.m. Let's set the start time to 4.50 p.m. After setting up, click the Confirm button. Then it will start executing the planned task within 4 minutes. During this period, its state is a waiting state for execution. In a few minutes, let's take a look at the execution effect. Enable, disable RPA task. Update RPA task. This is the shortcut binding profiles button, which allows you to modify the profiles. Click the button here to delete the current task. 
Click the log button to view the specific situation of the current task log. Newly created task, no logs yet. Attention everyone, the scheduled task created earlier has started to execute. Start executing search tasks now. Search result page. Wait for 5 seconds to close the profiles. Wait another 5 seconds to close the browser. The completed task status changes to executed. This is a complete scheduled task. Now let's explain the cycle task again. Simply customize the task name and fill it in. It is important to note that the workflow ID corresponds to one task. Here, we will bind one or more profiles based on the actual situation. After completing the selection, click the Confirm button. First, set the execution frequency of the loop task. The execution frequency refers to how many minutes or hours the set loop task is executed. The current time is 4.51 p.m. Next, let's set the start time for the task again. We will set the start time to 4.53 p.m. Click the Confirm button. Then set the end time again. The end time is set at 4.58 p.m. After setting up, click the Confirm button to save. The newly created task will be displayed in the list. Display task start time. The status here shows waiting for execution. The task will only be executed at the start time we just set. Let's take a look at the execution effect later. There is a button here to stop the task. Stopping a task refers to terminating the execution of a task during the execution process. For example, we bound 10 profiles and executed 2 profiles. If you don't want to execute the remaining profiles, just click to stop the task. Now you can see that it's already 4.53 p.m., but the task has not been executed yet. It should be noted that the execution does not start at exactly 4.53 p.m., but rather, starting from a random second between 4.53 p.m. and 4.54 p.m. Here, we need everyone to focus on understanding. Attention everyone, the task is starting to run. The task has now started running, but only one profile is running because it is bound to one profile. If multiple profiles are bound, multiple profiles will execute simultaneously. Now you can see that the running profiles is already executing the search task. Wait for 5 seconds to close the profiles. Wait another 5 seconds to close the browser. This is a complete cycle task. After the loop task is executed once, its state will change to finished. It is recommended to set the execution frequency and interval time here to be longer. If the interval is relatively short, the overall process cannot be fully executed. At this point, click on the query log again. You can view the profile's number, execution time, status, type, and execution result in this log. Next, let's explain the issue of concurrency control again. Concurrency control is also a very important part. Due to the fact that Evryon's computer configuration is not that sufficient, so we need to control the number of profiles that are open simultaneously. There are two concurrency control items here. Task concurrency control. Profile concurrency control. Task concurrency control refers to the number of tasks that can run simultaneously. Profile concurrency control refers to the number of profiles that can be opened simultaneously for each task. Let's go back to the browser page and take a look at the features. Click on the task settings in the upper right corner to enter. Pop up profiles for task settings where you can set task concurrency values. How many tasks are allowed to run at the same time, please set it according to the performance of the computer. For example, if the task concurrency value is set to 6, then the current computer can run 6 tasks. Running strategy. The browsers has been opened to prohibit running the RPA task. After setting, Open profiles will not perform RPA tasks. All browsers are allowed to run RPA tasks, including the open. The open browsers will no longer trigger the browser close timeout when running the RPA task. It should also be noted that concurrency refers to the number of profiles bound within a task. When running a task, it is impossible for multiple profiles to run simultaneously in an instant. 
It may be due to computer performance issues or other tasks, so it is necessary to set a task that allows multiple profiles to run simultaneously. For example, the current set profile's concurrency is 5. So during the process of running this task, up to 5 profiles can be opened at the same time. If there is a profiles to execute or PA tasks after the workflow is completed, then one of the remaining 5 profiles in the queue will be selected to continue running until all tasks are completed. There is one more thing that everyone needs to pay attention to here. Total number of open profiles equals task concurrency asterisk profile concurrency. Another thing to consider is the performance of the computer. Assuming four tasks have been created and all need to be run, each task is bound with multiple windows. Then it is necessary to consider the performance limit of the computer. If the computer supports opening up to 20 profiles, and among all the tasks, each task is bound with 10 profiles. It is equivalent to already binding 40 profiles. If 40 profiles are open simultaneously, it will definitely cause the computer to freeze. So it is necessary to control the total number of profiles that can be opened simultaneously. For example, the task concurrency is set to 5 and the profiles concurrency for each task is set to 6. Then a total of 30 profiles can be opened simultaneously. Normal operation, for example, this task is bound to 10 profiles. Another task is bound to 2 profiles. Then these two tasks are running simultaneously, and at this point, 12 profiles can be opened simultaneously. There were several considerations for the overall RPA operation. A. Never forget the workflow ID. This is very important because if there is a problem with the workflow ID, so the workflow cannot be executed, which means it cannot be found in the browser. There is another feature that needs everyone's attention here. This is a run RPA task. This function is convenient and quick for everyone to use. If you want to try the newly created task, clicking on this feature will manually trigger this workflow. There is one more thing that needs special attention. Browser close timeout. The open browser will auto close after this time. The default time setting is 100 seconds. If it is zero, this function will be disabled. Because once the task is running, it may not be completed due to various reasons. You cannot close the browser. This will keep occupying the concurrent number of tasks, causing other tasks to be unable to run. So it is recommended that everyone set a reasonable task timeout time. B. Don't forget to add the close tab window block at the end of the workflow. If the workflow is not closed here, but a timeout is set, the profile will be automatically closed. It is highly likely that this workflow will be interrupted, resulting in the entire task not being completed. So everyone must keep this in mind. C. Try to avoid binding the same task to the same profile. It should be noted not to bind the same profiles in two tasks. Two tasks trigger the same profiles at the same time. It is impossible to run it twice at the same time. If the profiles has already been opened before and another task encounters this profiles again. At this point, the execution will be skipped and the subsequent profiles will not be executed. D. Avoid using excessively high concurrency settings. Everyone can also set a reasonable value based on their own computer performance. E. Don't forget to set timeout for tasks. The timeout ensures that the profiles will definitely close, which is equivalent to adding a layer of insurance. The above are all the functional points of RPA. Next, I will share a few resources with you. Automa official website. Above is a more detailed description of the actual design and usage of Automa. The second one is the YouTube channel. There are also some designs and developments for Automa above. The above is the entire content of this video tutorial. If you encounter any problems during use, please feel free to contact us at any time. Thank you all for watching.